guys, today we're going to talk about root rot. Even I make mistakes sometimes. And when we moved into this new house, I put a bunch of tropical plants in my bedroom, which has a north facing window. And I was kind of crossing my fingers, hoping that it would be enough light, and it just wasn't. So a lot of my plants got overwatered. They weren't able to process that water, and they have clearly developed some signs of root rot. So today, we're going to figure out how to save them. Okay, first things first, you're gonna wanna put down your drop cloth or your tarp or your garbage bag or you're just gonna be making a mess on your floor. It's up to you. For me, I've got a paint drop cloth. So this is a bird of paradise plant and these guys are notoriously very easy to keep happy. So when I started to notice some yuckiness on the leaves like this, uh, it was pretty obvious to me that what we had was a situation of root rot. But fortunately, root rot is not a death sentence and we will be able to save this guy. Okay, so as you can see here, these roots kind of break off really easily because they're super waterlogged and they're rotten. That shouldn't break so easily. Um, so we're gonna knock away all of the old dirt and we're going to twist off any of the rotten ends of the roots. Look at how rotten that is. That is a rotten root right there. Yep. So basically I'm just going through, massaging the roots and pulling away anything that pulls away easily. If it pulls away easily, that means it's rotten. I have a couple of plants that I need to repot due to them having root rot. And one of them is this money tree. Okay, so I shook off all the extra soil and I pulled away any roots that were easily removable. And any of the ones that don't pull when they're tugged, that means they're still healthy. Okay, so now that I've gotten rid of all that yucky stuff, I'm gonna repot it in a nice, clean, fresh pot with some nice, clean, fresh soil. Now when repotting, it's important to first put a layer of dirt in the bottom of the pot. You don't want those exposed roots to be up against the cold ceramic. You want a layer about two to three inches deep, depending on how big your pot is. And then place your plants in the center. And then you're gonna fill in soil all around the perimeter. Packing it in nicely so that there's some good structure and stability. All right guys, that's it, we did it. We saved this plant from the certain doom of root rot. One final thing, I'm gonna trickle just a little bit of water directly into the center of the plant, just to kind of wake up those roots, to let them know they're in a new environment and they can start seeking out some nice, clean, fresh water. Not too much though. And I'm definitely gonna put this in a brighter light setting than where it was in my room. Maybe right here by the south facing window. Thanks for watching.